Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and uh, today I'm here with you for another yarn talk video. And as always, we cannot really talk about yarn without me having my favorite mug of tea. And uh, today, this favorite mug is containing a lovely black tea, a black tailing tea, um, with a flavor of a raspberry. Um, yeah, so it's this um, Ceylon tea, it just has this um, sort of a fresh taste, so it's, yeah, it's wonderful in so many aspects. Um, so I've been busy since last Yarn Talk video. Uh, I finished an item and I'm still progressing on a bunch of other items. Um, and some items has been laying a little bit dormant. But uh, the item that I finished is this small amigurumi turtle that I wanted to make. Um, and surprisingly enough, I still have yarn left, so I could probably make just another one if I really wanted to. Um, and I am debating if I maybe should do that or if I should find another um, simple pattern. Um, because, I yeah, as I said, I still have some scrap yarns left and it seems like a waste not to use them. And what I did use is all the filling. I used my old yarn scraps, like when I sew in tails, you have these small pieces of yarn left. That's what I used for the filling. So I didn't even use the standard polyfill for it. Um, but this is how it turned out. Um, this is my small little um, yeah, my small little turtle. My small little turtle friend. Um, in the beginning. Um, I thought I had a no sew pattern because I was like, I needed to be a bit quicker and sewing on uh, legs and tails and heads and so on, it just does take more time or no sew or low sew. But as I progressed, uh, I realized that it was the intention of sewing on uh, like the fins and tails. Um, like you leave, left gaps where you will like insert them and then sew them on, which I thought was really, really complicated. Uh, so I ended up frocking it, at least to the extent I could frock, because I couldn't frock at all. Um, and bottom line is I ended up creating a new body. Um, and instead of where the gaps normally would be for, um, like you would then make a, place where you would like chain over it and, and create a gap where you would insert them. And so instead of that, I basically at the same locations uh, crocheted them in as you would do with a no sew pattern. And I think it turned out pretty okay. Um, definitely, it's it's a water turtle in the sense of uh, the flippers here are definitely not land-based. This one is, is definitely um, an ocean swimming one because else the flippers wouldn't be so big. But, but except for that, I did follow the pattern and I'm quite happy with the turnout, to be honest. But as I said, I still have some yarn left. Um, this is the leftovers I have. I'm a bit undecided what I want to make from them. Um, I might, as I said, search for another small low sew, no sew pattern and see if I can make another small baby amigurumi with some of the other uh, leftovers. I do have still some um, yarn ends, um, well, waste yarn you would call it basically, because it is really, we're talking about these small ends that otherwise just would go to the garbage, which I've been using for the filling here. Um, and I still have more of that, so I could easily make, like I have enough filling to probably make another one or two of these uh, if I really wanted to. So it's a perfect way of spending my waste yarn uh, and, and getting some of these um, scraps uh, used. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this turnout. Um, I am. Uh, it's, this is not so bad. The only thing is, I, um, there are a few places here on the sides where um, you can see uh, the color change between um, the two. Uh, could have gotten a little bit smoother, but you know, it's not something that's bothering me a lot. It's more like it was a nice process to see um, if it was possible, especially when I figured out it was the no-so pattern. And, and based on that, especially if you look at from like here, it's absolutely cute. Definitely. So um, that's my small finished item. Um, and 
it might it might go in the donation part or it might go into my sales part. I haven't really figured out what's going to happen with it, but I'm quite happy I made it. And um, as mentioned, um, I am going to find something else to, to use the remaining of these small budget yarns chenille. So um, it's like a really cheap chenille yarn. It feels fine. I've made up groomies with it before. Um, but um, but yeah, I need just to find something where where I can make a good project from them. Um, because, you know, um, that's the only I have left of it in stock. Um, yeah, so it makes kind of sense to get it used, I guess. That's the bottom line. Then I am still working on my Oasis cardigan. What a surprise. It is the weekly talking point, one of the weekly talking points. And that is one of the reasons is probably that I'm ending up often making creations that is, and I focus on multiple. Of course, that's not helpful either if you want to finish something quicker. Um, the Oasis cardigan is made in this Drops Baby Merino yarn. It's a Drops Baby Merino mix, which is 100% superwashed uh, merino wool in their finest yarn category, so the thinnest yarn category they have. Um, the bowls here, or donuts here, they are 1.75 ounces, so 50 grams. And for those, you get 191 yards, which is the same as 175 meters. And yeah, as I said, it's 100% superwash uh, baby merino wool. And it is really so very scaffable and friendly, wearable, wearable wool. Like, you know, I, I can smell its wool, but I cannot really feel its wool. That's the key thing. Or feel or feel in the sense of it's not scratchy like what you sometimes experience wool arm. Um, and with this, I am obviously still working on the arm, and I haven't finished the first yet, but I am getting closer. I'm just trying to find upside down here. That will be the back side panel. Here we have the arm. So, what I could do just quickly, it's not gonna sit super well because obviously. I'm not standing up, so, um, but just for the quick fit, just for the quick fit, this is where we are with the arms. Um, yeah, ta-da, we are about that's a bit long, long t-shirt sleeve in between. Um, we have about two thirds to go, I would say. And we are now at a place where I have to decrease around. Oh, uh, decrease around, decrease. And then um, do some more rows and then I'll measure again. So I keep decreasing. So the pattern really writes, do this, do this, do this for every so often, where my conclusion is just that I'm, I'm really tailoring this for the perfect fit for me. Um, so instead, I've written down the amount of gaps and decreases, etc. Also, the pattern says I have to crochet them loosely and then sew on the arms. But I made, I increased to ensure I had a comfortable fit because my shoulders are a little bit wide. Um, I basically do to this extra rounds I added. Um, the following the pattern doesn't completely fit. It would be a little bit like sort of tucked together. And I think this is a really nice fit, to be honest. Um, it has a really good fit. And, you know, I really enjoy the fact that I've just been able to crochet them on. I do admit cr keep crocheting on them while they are on this card. Again, it's a bit complicated because I'm sitting with the whole piece on the table and I'm turning it around and it requires quite some turning because obviously the sleeves, um, they will get thinner, so there will get fewer stitches on the round, so they will be turned more and more often. Um, but that's a detail. And, and the good thing is once this sleeve is fully done, this one is just going to be a copy. You know, I've written down how many rounds I've done before the decreases on, on every single one of them. So. It will be nice and easy. Um, and I'm actually looking forward for you guys to, to see it. So um, my goal for next week uh, would definitely be to have 
this sleeve finished um, so that I only have one to go. Um, but I really have the feeling that we are getting closer to to the finish mark here. Like now I can really see the progress and, and it matches and fits. Um, I also, what some have noticed maybe is I do have this a thread going through here. Um, and that is for me to help keep track um, of where I decrease and to make sure it's about on the same time, uh, on the same round. Um, and that's basically what I have to do now. I have to decrease. Um, I think that's, that's the conclusion. So I need to undo the last double crochet and put it in the next because I thought I wanted to do a few more rounds last time I did the try on, but when I'm looking at this and just checked it here with you guys, I'm like, no, it's good here. I need to decrease because else it's going to be really flary, um, which I, not necessarily is bad, but if I want to easier carry it under, let's say a winter coat in the winter, um, I need them decreased a bit, though maybe it's going to be more of like a summer item to take on when it's chilly, chilly summer evening. I'm not really decided on that factor yet, but um, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's progressing. So that's absolutely yay. Wonderful, right? Um, I hope you guys like it as well. And it is worked in the round. I do have a pattern laying here with the description and everything so right now it's just working around so basically i finished the circle i haven't finished this two sides yet because i'm unsure if i am going to add them or not um we will have to look at that once i'm finished adding the arms if we think that might have to happen but the problem is also i don't have a lot of yarn left i might just have enough yarn to add the arms and not get very far on these side wings um and it could also be that I think it's fine without. That's a benefit. So that's a benefit when we craft our own garments, um, whether this being knitting or crocheting, it doesn't really matter, um, that we can adapt them to exactly our opinion, our style, our needs, um, basically to, to, to make it fit our own desires and wishes as what we like, and what's practical. Um, if I don't have enough yarn and I decide we do need the front panels, then it's very simple. I just have to order some more. Um, it's a good reason, I guess, for, for ordering yarns. So um, instead of these pieces being crocheted uh, first and then sewn on, I crochet them straight on the project. And that's the deviation I've made from this pattern. Uh, the rest I've been following more or less. Um, and of course, um, I might not add those two front panels as a deviation, but but overall, except that, I'm, I'm happy and satisfied, and it's going to plan. I think I would say yes, going to plan. Um, then I have my inlines poncho, my inlines alpaca poncho, um, which is a hobby plus pattern uh, by Tenta Toil. Central is a Danish designer um, for um, the Oasis cardigan, actually for everything um, except the turtle. There are links in the description box down below if you are interested in the patterns. They are either bought pattern, paid patterns or um, free patterns, um, but the links are all down below should you be interested. Um, the Oasis cardigan is free from uh, Drops website. The uh, cardigan here, um, the inline cardigan that we're about to talk about it's a hobby pay pattern so it's a hobby plus pattern you can get it free with hobby plus or you have to pay for it um and it is in english so all my patterns that i talk about here um they are in english i am trying to share english patterns with you guys because i get that not everybody necessarily speaks the languages i speak next to english um but here we have it let's see if i can actually find and make it nicely aligned like this. We are still progressing on one side. It's going very nicely, um, as you can see here. We are getting into more, more uh, darker blues. So um, we still have quite a bit to go. 
and yet not that far as we once had. Um, you can see the, the yarn is unfortunately caved in here, but um, that's not much I can do about that, except keep crochet. Um, it is the alpaca flowers yarn that I'm using. Um, or flowers alpaca from Yarn Art. These yarns are 250 gram cakes, 20% uh, alpaca, 20% acrylic. Uh, and for those 250 grams, which is 8 painted ounces, you get um, 940 meters of yarn or 1,027 yards. Mm. Oh, and I need to make sure this all doesn't end on the ground. Um, this is my project that I'm working on when I'm sitting uh, watching TV and the like. Um, because it, it it works out pretty good like that, to be honest, because it's mindless. I don't need to keep count. The only times I really need to pay attention, obviously, if I'm almost out of yarn, I need to make sure that I don't do half a round and realize I'm out. Um, I think there is still a few more rows before I need to be really concerned about that. Um, but uh, the only places I really need to pay attention is at the ends. Um, and here, instead of doing the front post, back post, then in these center gaps, I just make two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, that's it. Uh, and then the start of the round, I chain instead of double crochet to get it started. Um, which, for some reason, you can't see here. Oh yeah, you can see it here. On this side, it's chained. So it's... From my point of view, it should look like this. But I started the round here by chaining, then double crochet, chain two, two double crochets, and then I started front post, back post, front post, back post, uh, double crochets, which I do all the way around until I reach this end where it's the same. So, you know, there is so little to pay attention to when making this pattern. Um, it's, it's nice, easy, mindless. Um, like, you know, it's almost impossible to make mistakes, um, which makes it perfect for the TV. Uh, so that's why it's my TV project. And that's why we're still, we're still keeping talking about it, because if I only had focused on it, which part of me kind of wanted, because it is nice and warm, but it's almost spring now. So now I'm just being like, it's fine. It will be done when it's done and I will have it for a cold summer evening, but more likely I'm going to use it a lot next winter because this is warm. It's warmer than the puncher that I normally might would um, uh, pull on. So I am very happy with the inlines alpaca puncher. But next to this, we have three more projects that I'm working on. Um, and the next project is my um, fleur. The Fleur Blanket, um, which I started on around New Year's Day, maybe? I'm not sure if it was New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. That's not super important. Uh, I started that weekend um, and I haven't progressed since last week. Mainly, I guess, because I also put some attention into the turtle and I had to redo it a few times. Um, and I have 10,000 other things I'm doing. Um, so I haven't really had time to progress on it, and that's okay. So I am still at row 23 uh, out of 129. So there's quite some rows to go, uh, and I do believe it's at row 47 that I changed color. Uh, but right now, um, as last week, this is how it's looking like. If we hold it up, eventually it will be so big I can't hold it in here, in this screen. Uh, but that's going to be fine as well. Last round was a Bodo color. Next round, I will change to um, the cream white. I do hope to have some rounds done before next yarn talk video. Um, though, um, for this is something definitely that I need to have focus and attention on. Um, and I might be easier for me to focus on it once my Oasis cardigan is gone, done. Because right now for my Oasis cardigan, I also need to sit with it on the table, but that's more due to the way that I need to crochet the sleeves on. So it's not something that I easily bring with me to the couch. And for this, I really, because you, you, you keep both yarns attached that you're working with and to keep track of the yarns, 
but also to keep track of the exact stitches you're making is just a lot easier to sit at the table with it. Um, and I need to be focused because I need to make sure that the stitches are placed correctly. Um, they are either double or single crochets, depending on um, what colors you want on the front side showing. Um, and yeah, that makes this background a symmetrical background as well, actually. It's not too bad. You can see where the yarn is being carried along. Um, it's the Stylecraft DK yarn. So this is a premium acrylic that I'm using. Um, and I'm using a Formula My Crochet Hook. Everything as advised according to the pattern by Anke Wintermans. That is a paid pattern, a paid revenue pattern. It comes in English and Dutch. Um, because Anke Wintermans is a Dutch designer and she has made a bunch of absolutely gorgeous uh, overlay crochet uh, mosaic patterns um, or just mosaic patterns in general. She really has um, lots of them and um, you know I might end up picking a new of her projects for a future, uh, who knows. But this one I'm quite happy with um, so far. It's definitely turning out better than I had dared hoping. Um, so yeah, so that's by keeping track of the hands in my my crate here um but i'm not taking them out because every time i take them out they loosen up a bit and i really try to only take those out when i'm working on it to prevent um it getting too tangled so i hope you can survive with that but it's just a classic style crafty k yarn um style crafty k um i do maybe style craft special dk whatever um, that yarn is more or less the exact same as the Scheepjes a Color Crafter. That is also um, a DK yarn um, with lots of colors, which is a premium acrylic, which is quite often easy to obtain here in the Netherlands. Um, these yarns I got from a Wolplein, um, Wolplein Pinanel, which is the uh, yarnplaza.com. Um, they also ship internationally. Um, I do believe they both have Scrapius Color Craft and they might also have the special uh, DKs. Well, they do have the special DKs because that's where I got them, but I think they also have the, the Color Crafters. Um, there are a few stores also here in the Netherlands that do sell the Color Crafters, including Pandura, which is about 10 kilometers from here um, in the city of Nijmegen, uh, but it is not a place where I come very often. Um, and I think I can probably get better deals on that exact yarns on the internet, um, should I really want that yarn. Maybe for a future mosaic project, but first I want to finish this before I start thinking about which do I want to make next. Um, and that project, that blanket, that's going to take at least a year. <laughs> Unless I suddenly um, only focus on that and has nothing, have very little else to do. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, I do have the feeling that I am more than busy enough. <clears throat> the next project... Um, oops, there went my crochet hook on the floor. I am going to look up that one afterwards. I'm not sure which of them that were. Well, no, I'm gonna take it right now before I forget. That was my five millimeter crochet hook for my um poncho. Um, I am working on the Disney Sisters Mal make along, um, which is a shawl. Um, the rules for that mal or make along, I've listed the description box down below. Well, not the rules. Um, I've listed the video that contains the rules. Um, you should start no later than uh, earliest you're allowed to start was February 1st, but you could start anytime and it runs until the 30th of April. And the make along can be both crochet or knit, it's free of choice and it's a shawl. Um, also, free shawl of choice. So it's not like if you crochet, it has to be this. Um, pattern or if you knit it has to be this pattern you're free to choose what pattern you would like to submit for this make along i um last autumn bought yarns to make the jasmine tea shawl and i just had waited for a moment to get started on it i really wanted to get started on it within not too far out of the distance and uh, when this make along came which I've never participated in a make-along before. It seemed and felt perfect for me to enter. So that's what I did. Um, and I am going to show you guys how far I am. I finished green, um, the green in the colorway 103. I don't remember the name of that green anymore. Um, 
still have a bit of green attached to it, but um, lots of green I have attached. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that down here and then we can maybe just look at half of it. This is where we are at. And I am going to change color now. Well, not right now, but today when I continue on this. And we are going to change to this absolutely gorgeous green. So right now we have this lighter green. And we're changing to this more gorgeous, gorgeous green. This is a colorway 105. Um, shamrock, maybe? I think it's gorgeous. So um, that's the next one that comes on. Maybe I should do like this. That's the next green that's coming on. And then I have a butter green also in here, which will be after this. The goal right now is to add one a week. Um, but looking at the pattern, I might actually need one more. I had nine in total, but I might need 10 and I might need to make an edge in black to add to the bottle green. But that's okay. I have black upstairs in my stash, so I can do that without issues. Um, but yeah, that is how far we are. We have finished a blue. To a more medium blue, to a lighter blue, to more like a teal color, to a mint green, to a darker mint green, and now we are into the real greens. Um, and the fun thing is, when I look at the colors here up close, I'm not too convinced, but when I look at them at distance or on a photo, I'm like, holy crap, that looks really nice. It does, it does look really nice. And I like the pattern. The only thing I don't like is the realization when you get further in the pattern on the repeats, especially like here. There is a lot of bubble stitches. And honestly, um, more than what I prefer. But the pattern itself is gorgeous and therefore I just keep going on. And uh, yeah, next step is just adding this and this green, honestly. This is a really gorgeous green. So um, I'm going to look forward to work with this green for, for the coming week. And then next week, um, we are getting closer and closer to the finish of this. And of course, the end result is I have to block it um, because this pattern looks at its very best when it's had a good block, basically. So that will be the finished uh, goal um, to have it blocked and, and finished and ready to post um, some time in about probably like three weeks from now, maybe. I could be that I'm done before three weeks from now. Um, but the blocking might first be after. The last project that I am currently working on is the Fleur, um, Fleur, uh, not Cardigan, the, f oh, it's not the Fleur, it's not. <sighs> Friday morning. It's not the Fleur cardigan because it's the Fleur mosaic blanket. It is the Firefly blanket. I guess it's because they're both starting with F that I got a little bit messed up. But um, the Firefly blanket, um, what you will see on this blanket, uh, not blanket. <laughs> um, repeat, repeat, repeat. Let's see. Firefly sweater. I'm working on the Firefly sweater. The only thing you will see right now is that I still have some ends that I need to weave in. I haven't done it yet because uh, I'm probably first going to do that when I'm finished with this front panel piece. Um, but what you will see now is that I've progressed reasonably nicely. Um, I am here. Like It looks probably better if I show it this way because then you won't see the ends that I still need to weave in. Um, so basically... This would be the shoulder piece and that goes, and as you can see, I am working right now on adding the cuppy side of it. And what I'm doing basically is just a bunch of double crochets. I decreased, then I did some regular rows, now I'm increasing again. And I am making the exact copy. So 
where I have the purple, and I do have one in both ends actually. That's a, that's a center. So of that, I need to mirror it. Um, so I do some counting to make sure every time that I'm sitting good. And then I'm just crocheting along. So far, it looks pretty nice. Um, it. I wonder, the fit might not be too perfect on the side. But we will have to see when I'm done. It's nice yarn to work with. Um, I do hold two yarns together. It's two stranded. These are two absolutely uh, super soft yarns. And that's also what they are called. Or, well, not completely. Um, they are from Lamy Yarns. Lamy Yarns is a Dutch brand. Um, and uh, they are named Soft Sensation. The Soft Sensation here is without animal fibers. Even though they look like mohair yarns. Um, they are not mohair yarns. They are acrylic and polyamide blended together, but they do have this um, hairy mohair look. The only downside of these yarns is it's hand wash yarns. Um, and I do like my washing machine, um, but I will have to hand wash this object, especially if I like the end result of it. Um, but yeah, I am still working on it. Piece for piece. Um, putting it together and uh, hoping that the end result is gonna be really nice. Um, I like how the colors really um, turn up together um, when held double. And uh, the goal here is basically to finish this piece. Then I'm going to crochet the back piece and then I have to crochet two sleeves and I have to sew it all together. Meanwhile, hoping of course that I have enough yarn, um, else I guess I have to order new yarn or more yarn because the Firefly sweater and I said it correctly this time. The Firefly sweater is a cropped model. And I'm not really into crop models. I prefer that they at least reach about uh, the belt of my trousers. Uh, because cropped, I will, uh, you know, it gets cold just around the belly band. Um, so I like when sweaters are long enough to reach that. And that's just a personal opinion on style, I guess. Um, and... Right now, the world thinks that the crop versions are awesome. I'm not a crop person. Um, yeah, that's pretty much this is. I did buy extra yarn to make sure I should be able to do it. If I can, I will find out. I estimate I need about two, a bit less than two bowls for the front piece or a bit less than two bowls for the back piece. And then how many bowls will I need for the arms? Probably a bit more than a bowl as well. Should just about have enough. It's very close. Maybe I'll be too short. And then I will hope that the dye lost to some within reasonable extent still adds up. Once I'm completely finished with this front piece is when I will crochet in or add in these, um, these ends. Because I do have two ends right now hanging around um, waiting to be sewn in. And I will do that when... Um, when this panel is finished, that's kind of what I've decided. That makes most sense for me. So yeah, um, everything is basically going pretty well. Um, and I will keep crocheting and crocheting and crocheting until next week's yarn talk video. In between, I do have a few other things coming up. Most importantly, I guess, is my Sort My Stash videos. The Sort My Stash videos is uh, on Mondays right now. Um, and on Monday, we have some more Stanley cakes coming up. So if you do like those, check in. Um, I probably already forgot it. Yes, I did. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you do like yarn. Uh, hit the subscribe button because, you know, talking about yarn is mostly what we do here. We talk about crochet, crochet projects. We talk about how I adapt patterns to fit me, um, which can maybe help you be inspired on how to make patterns fit you um, when you work on them. Um, yeah, basically, we have lots of fun here. Uh, we have our occasional giveaways. Um, I pulled the winner last week. There is not any giveaways planned next week, um, but we are trying to plan giveaways um, for the Celebration Live. Um, and right now, I'm thinking that the Celebration Live will be in the beginning of May. There is a Friday that will be quite suitable for me to do and launch it on, um, where I have the opportunity to spend a couple of hours with you guys. Um, and I know 
there are people who is happy to donate a few gifts for this celebration live um and we also have a anniversary coming up if you do watch my videos i recommend you to put watch the anniversary because there's probably going to be something hidden in there um and that's about the tips that i'm going to give you for now um I do hope I have something for you for Wednesday. I am trying to see if I can get some sort of yarn review or comparison sorted uh, for Wednesday um, because I will going to do a few more of those as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, stay tuned. I may also have random giveaways. So um, yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and um, make sure your notifications are turned on. So um, I think we got everything including the super soft yarns and the turtles and everything else. So I'm going to say uh, take care and happy crafting. I'll see you again. And we will definitely see each other on Monday for my Sort My Stash 2024 part four. Take care.